Aha, aha, aha. Hi, welcome to 106 News. I'm Blair Bass. And I'm Owen Newton. This is the first segment of the new year, so we've got plenty in store for today's show. With the start of a new school year comes new faces. 106's Madison Hurst and Chandler Lejeune met with this year's new teachers here at Catholic. Hi, I'm Chandler Lejeune with 106 News, and I'm here with the new teacher, Ms. Kristen, Hi. in the elementary who teaches second grade. So what brought you to uh, the Catholic, Ms. Kristen? Well, um, I've been teaching in public school for quite a few years, and both of my children are here at Catholic now, and I just wanted to come with them. We, I wanted all of us to be in the same place. Um, I wanted to grow deeper into my faith, so I figured being at a Catholic school um, would help me to do that. And I wanted to mainly join an atmosphere that was more family-oriented. Well, I'm glad that we can interview you. Well, thank you, and I am very glad to be here. Well, we're glad that you're here. I'm here with the new math teacher, Ms. Abair. What do you like so far about Catholic? I actually like the students, especially fourth hour. So, I lie, I don't have fourth hour, fifth hour. <laughs> so, what's your favorite math equation? Uh, the Fibonacci sequence. Well, that's cool. Do you know what it is? Nope, I have no clue. <laughs> one, one, two, three. You still don't know? That's okay. Hey, I'm Madison Hurst from 106 News here with our principal, Miss Colleen, to talk about the school's theme, Journey with Jesus. So, Miss Colleen, what does the theme mean to you? Well, the theme means to me an expression of all of the Christ like qualities that we are expected to live by. Living out the gospel in our actions, in our words, on a daily basis. Well, how is our school going to show that we are journeying with Jesus? Well, hopefully all of our students will put into practice those things that are Christ-like. Respect toward one another, acceptance of all people, respect for life, um, growing in their faith, personal reflection having to do with their faith, uh, practicing their faith, our prayer lives. It's all a journey, and it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. Everyone is on a faith journey. And so living that out on a daily basis, it may be something as simple as stopping to help someone who's dropped something or holding a door open for someone else, going out of your way to put others in front of yourself. That is journeying with Jesus. All right, thank you, Ms. Colleen. Sticking with news here around campus, the robotics team spent the summer in Hawaii, competing at the International Games. Hey, Blair, I wonder if the robots had to wear sunscreen while they were on the beach. What? Uh, nothing. Over to you, Camille. Hi, I'm Camille Lavatu from 106 News, here with Ian Landry, captain of the robotics team. So, Ian, you guys went to Hawaii over the summer. Tell me how that was. Oh, it was, it was interesting. We, um... We did pretty well. We placed 31st in the tournament, which is when you play with a bunch of different people. What was your favorite part of going to Hawaii? Well, uh, it was just, it was beautiful there. Like the beach, and we, we went and did a whole bunch of different things. We saw Pearl Harbor. We climbed this mountain called Diamond Head. We went snorkeling and saw a big reef, and some of us saw sea turtles and that kind of stuff. We went surfing. Hawaii was awesome. Our plane ride was horrible due to turbulence. However, all in all, I enjoyed my vacation. I learned how to surf and dance the hula. I even met a special someone. Her name is X53000. We are now friends on Facebook. Moving over to sports, our fall teams are gearing up for the starts of their new seasons. 
106 Sports' Julia Johnson and Jonas Guiche sat down with a few student athletes. Hey, I'm Julia Johnson from 106 Sports and I'm here with senior Jacob Juice to talk about the 2014 football season. What did y'all do over the summer to prepare for the season? Uh, we, we did a lot of uh, working out. We got a lot stronger, a lot faster. Uh, we really got to know each other better and got to really bond as a team. We did really well at camp this summer. We got first place for our home routine and we left with superior trophy and all blue ribbons. Uh, we worked out in the weight room and we would do ball control in the gym and we had several camps that we went to. Uh, they attended a very nice camp at Millsaps College that I wasn't able to attend, but you can see improvement coming from the underclassmen. Um, how do you feel about this being your last year season? It makes me very depressed, but I'm excited for it, and we have a great group of girls, so I think it's going to be good. Uh, I feel like we're going to be better than ever, actually. Uh, it's the strongest team we've ever had, but we don't have as many, but we're still ready. What advice do you have to give to your underclassmen? I think just continuing to have fun and staying optimistic throughout the season, um, striving to be the best that you can be. Um, always achieve your dreams, and... Hang on. Oh, if you think you're loud, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. So always be louder than what you think you are. Um, I would say just stay motivated, have a purpose to run, and just don't give up. That's How many um, miles do you run a day? Um, we always run more than three miles, but never more than ten. I'm here with Carly Major. Hi. Um, what exactly were you doing? Um, I was swimming. What you swimming for? The swim meet in November, the state meet, the big shebang, oh, yeah. the holy grail. We have a swim team? What do you mean, do we have a swim team? Of course we have a swim team. It's very up and coming, but I mean, we have it. No, um, I haven't heard anything about a swim team. Well, it's so, yeah. not really a swim team. It's Carly Major, but she's real serious about it. She's been preparing for the state meet. Is that right? Who's on the swim team? Well, it's just me right now, but you know, people are shy. It's the beginning of the season. This is a new thing. And so, I mean, I anticipate like a lot of people to be trying out. I mean, we live near a lake or a false river, and so, I think a lot of people come out. Yeah. Who's yeah. we, we your coach? I mean. Well, right now I've been watching a lot of tutorials with Michael Phelps on YouTube. Great swimmer, great athlete, body of a goddess or a god, whatever. Um, yeah, he's really inspiring. So that's where I've been getting it all lately. But I'm free and open to suggestions. So if y'all know anybody, let me know. Okay. Well, good luck at the state swim meet. Thank you, Carly Major. Thank you. Oh, and what are you eating? Oh, there's, there's just some duck I cooked. You cooked? Oh, yeah, I got a little Cajun cooking show on the weekends that I do. Really? Oh, yeah, take a look at this. All right, welcome to Owen's Cajun Cooking Corner. Today we're gonna cook up a little duck breast. Now when you prepare your meat, what you're gonna do is strip it right down the middle. Now when you're preparing it, you wanna take off any fat or skin that's around it, because that ain't gonna taste good, that's gonna taste nasty. This is a perfect meal if you're about to watch the LSU game or if you're at the camp cooking with your partners. You go throw all of it in the one bowl. Alright, now you can put your little Italian dressing. Then you can put your little Tony's. Then you can get you some Louisiana hot sauce. Then you're gonna put your Worcestershire sauce. Whew, this is gonna be good, yeah, boy. Put your little bit of milk, just a little new. Now you just mix that up. Ooh, that's gonna be good, boy. Oh yeah, we're almost there. Get your grease up to about 350. Start dropping it in your bag. And then throw your little Tony's in there, just a little bit. Close it up. 
Give it a little shake. Now all you gotta do is pick them pieces out of there and throw that in the grease. All right, start picking them out of there. You put you about, about six or seven pieces at a time. But watch that grease, because they'll pop you now. All right, now that we got our pieces cooking till they float, we got our pieces right here on a little napkin to let that grease fall off. Pooh, y'all, that was good. Let me see that right there. Good hey, that's all we got for this week. Y'all catch us on the next show. Wow, I'm really impressed. I did not know you cooked. Well, you know, I do what I can do. Well, that's our show so, for today. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, no, I, no, I saw you. I saw you standing there in my American apparel underwear. Yeah, I know. I am down. I am. Hold up, hold up one second. Can you, can you please move? Please. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Coach Morris and I will be doing this show uh, for the rest of the school year. We figured that, uh, you know, professionals should be actually conducting a show. Right, well, that's great, but Coach Morris isn't here. Yeah, okay. Coach Morris, why don't you take this? He's not here. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going. He's going. Where'd he go? Bathroom? Oh. No, he's, bathroom? He's, 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 he's going to he's be in the dinner. bathroom for a long time. He's, he's not coming back. He's not coming he back. He has diarrhea? No. What? He's not coming back. What, like, like to school? Not coming back to school? Ever. Where'd he? He's gone. Where'd he go? We don't know. Like for good? Yeah. For good. Yeah, he's... It's not coming back. Well, if you have any comments, please drop sorry, us a line. Sorry. Forgot my phone. For like good. Yeah, he's, yes. He's gone. He's gone. If you have any comments, please email us at news at catholicpc.com. I'm Owen Newton. And I'm Blair Bass. Thank you for joining 106 News, where you hear all the buzz.